What's up guys, it's the Golden Apple here, and today I will be showing you guys my entire collection of 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 ultra rare slash foil cards, not my reverses and everything, but pretty much just like a lot of my foil cards and like my rare cards and stuff. Now I and now in this video you might be looking at my collection and saying, dude, I have a million times better collection. You're so bad, dude. Agree, okay? I agree. Because basically what happened was I would have a 1 million times better collection than I currently do. But a very tragic thing happened. <laughs> I literally had two of like those miniature binders that, that you could get on those like boxes. You get like a promo holo. These, I had two of these filled with ultra rares, full art EXs, secret rares, all kinds of insane cards i'm talking like i i calculated the value of like four cards that i remembered that i had and all of them were 30 dollars and, and up um so anyways basically i'm just gonna be showing you all the cards that i have left and that i've pulled in the past few days because i have pulled some of these cards in the past few days on openings that i've made so basically today I'm trying to do some like daily uploading now and so basically today I decided to make this a video because I really had no other ideas for a video so I mean I don't know what else to say but let's get right into it so let me just start with the top stack uh so yeah so to start off this video we have a Suicune holo card now I know that that the vintage I will have a lot of vintage cards in these. There'll be more. Sorry. <coughs> There'll be more towards. I'm sorry. I have an allergies. I think at least. Basically, oh my gosh, that's like a no energy. That's no a no energy. That's like a that's a, like in the new sun and moon sets a lot. Anyways, basically, um, <coughs> that was a fake cough. Um, I I just did that because like I felt like coughing, coughing. A the Pokemon coughing. Oh, I didn't even mean to make that a joke. Anyways, you'll see a lot of vintage cards, but they'll be more towards the end because they're still rare. Uh, you know, that's not really vintage. I mean, it is, but, like, if the entire design is different, and it's, I'm pretty sure, aren't these still from Wizards of the Coast? I'm pretty for sure from 2000, or whenever Pokemon cards first started, like, the base set, obviously, until, like, 2010, it's been Wizards of the Coast. I'm not so sure about that. Correct me if I'm wrong. Wait, what? 11 out of 17 what wait pokeball nine? Oh, oh my gosh these are all out of those two card packs those two card booster packs that are like extremely expensive now oh my gosh i'm sorry i took so long on that card this is an interesting one this is a hollow bleed card if you don't know hollow bleed cards are basically errors where with the hollow bean right here, and it, it instead of it just keeping up there, it actually bleeds down onto the rest of the card. And I actually looked this up, and I did not see any images or anything for a hollow bleed Latius just like this, or any really in general hollow bleed Latius. So I could technically sell this for a hundred dollars, and it, there's a chance that someone would buy it because um, of one good reason: it's never before seen. So, nobody really knows if there's any more on existence on this planet. So, look at that shine. It literally bleeds through the card. Let's, let's start speeding things up. Another hollow bleed, which is really hard to see, but you could kind of see. And you could, you could see a lot better um, before. Another hollow bleed. Oh, you could see really good, like, like right there. Another hollow bleed. It's kind of hard to see these... Oh, there we go. Oh, oh. <laughs> this one is extremely hard to see. 
Um, it is a hollow bleed. It literally took me like a full on like three minutes just to actually figure this out because it looked like there was an ever so slight shine. And so I looked into it for like three minutes. You could, I don't even think you could see that on camera. Anyways, that's the end of the uh, hollow bleed cards. I, um, I actually didn't even expect to have that many. Um, we got a heat ran hollow, Aegis slash hollow, a Vika Volt hollow. Wait a minute. Okay, I thought that that was an uncommon hollow card. I'm like, what? Because <laughs> it wasn't a promo either. A Haxorus Hollow, Gudra Hollow, Shrifty Hollow, Lit Litten um, Promo Hollow, Team Magma's Camprupt Hollow, Porygon Z Hollow, a Curum Weird Line Foil Hollow, I mean. Very interesting card. A Diancy Extremely Foily card. Swirlix Extremely Foily card. Dedenne Extremely Foily. Wally Extremely Foily. And Exernius Foil card. It's so majestical. I love that card. Oof. A Furfrow McDonald's promo. A Fletchling McDonald's promo. A Mega Gardevoir EX Full Art. This is one of them that I actually found. Um, but um, with, along with like two other EXs. Uh, now, I'm actually starting to notice I, I have a lot of promos. Like that are from like McDonald's and stuff. So this is Alolan, Alolan Diglett. I'm pretty sure this is a McDonald's promo. Correct me if I'm wrong. A Luxury, again with the line foil, but except you could barely see that it's actually foil because it like faded away. Snubble, normal, just like hollow. These are just like the Detective Pikachu cards. Let me get the camera to focus. Okay, there we go. More little hollow, another one. Magikarp. This is like the rarest card in all the Detective Pikachu set. Once I pulled this, I was like screaming. I was like actually so insanely happy, dude. This is like the rarest card in the Detective Pikachu set. I'm not even kidding. I mean, come on, it's Magikarp. I'm just kidding. Um, that's that's a joke completely. Another Magikarp. A Bulbasaur. A Machamp, a Mewtwo, oh these are all hollows, I forgot to say hollow, and of course, Detective Pikachu hollow, and Empoleon, um, okay, no, that's, that's, I thought that this was the, um, Crystal hollow, just an Empoleon regular hollow, a Victory Bell hollow, Fennekin McDonald's promo, Deheal, Del, Delmise, um, what's it called? Promo, hollow promo, a golem, hollow, Steelix, hollow promo, whale lord, hollow promo, and another whale lord, hollow promo. Let's move on. Let me grab another stack of cards. Okay. Let us continue. An Articuno. Pocket Monsters, Base Set, Foil, or no, sorry, Fossil, Foil, Japanese, lots of stuff going on there, McDonald's Promo Pikachu, how many McDonald's Promos do I have? <laughs> sorry about that, Rock Ruff Promo, Foil Promo, I don't know why I slipped this in there, um, Oh my goodness, okay, uh, an Eevee, Froki, um, promo, oh, or hollow promo, uh, T-Mock was Muck, hollow, a uh, Vivlin, promo, Flo, Flo, 
Okay. Um, float, float, float promo. Celebi, is this a promo? Oh my gosh, it is. I want to get some more of these because it's like the semi full art cards. I love those. A Snorlax um, Evolutions promo. I didn't actually know how many promos I had. <laughs> a, a shatter or a glass, shattered glass. Sorry, I was saying glass. Shattered glass um, Hoopa promo, or no, shattered glass Hoopa in general. No, because this was a part of a deck box. I bet. A Togekiss ho Hollow semi full art. A Zygarde promo. Yes, it is a promo. That, that, I don't know why it took me so long to figure that out. Togdemuru promo hollow. A Machamp. This one actually sells for quite a bit. A Machamp Evolutions um, hollow. Okay, this is where the, that like expensive cards start rolling in. This is a Mewtwo from the um, Pokemon First movie. And this card goes for about $30. Or $30. Um, it's from 1999. Basically, what the card was is there was like these little like things, and you had like a chance of getting. I'm pretty sure like other cards, like a Pikachu and stuff. I'm pretty sure. A, I mean, I'm pretty sure a Pikachu and like some other cards. But this is one of them that you could get, and it's worth quite a bit now. And then a cute fly McDonald's card. Put that aside. Nobody needs to see any more McDonald's cards. How many McDonald's cards do I have? Now let me not get into the vintage cards before I go into these ones. A root fossil. Well, these are vintage still, but like, yeah. 2008 root fossil reverse. A 2009 graveler reverse. Wait, is that 2008? No, 2009. 2008 Poke Blower Plus Reverse. And this is some one that I really like. And that I'm going to take out of its sleeve because you can't really see it. It's foil in a sleeve. But oh my gosh, would you look at that. Trust me, the actual look in real life. Beautiful card right there. And it's from 2009. It is the an Elite Four Pokemon as well. Anyways, let's go ahead and put that right back up in there. And let's move on. Now, this isn't a foil necessarily, but it is a secret rare. And that is Uma Umaki's Doduo. Um, now, I'm just going to read off the attacks because of, of how stupid and ridiculous they are. Pokemon Power, Frenzied Escape. Let me, let me see if I can get my camera to focus. When this do do, oh my gosh, you could see the little like bright lights on the on on the reflection of my thing. But Pokemon Power, frenzied escape. When this do 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 duo retreats, hold this card and throw it as hard as you can because do duo is running away. Throw the card horizontally with a snap to get the farthest distance. Attack is harmonized. From the moment you use this attack, you must begin to sing a song. The, while the song is being sung, the game continues. When the song is finished, this attack does 30 damage. Let me just go ahead and show you what that would look like. Oh, by the way, if you look at the bottom, it says this card can't be used at official tournaments. <laughs> no wonder it can't. So so let's say I'm Pokemon battling my friend. You know, he's got some cards, you know. Um, yes, I know how to Pokemon battle. I'm just showing the example. So let me just pretend like that he has like some cards out that you could actually use. I, I'm all like, I use Harmonize. <laughs> Except it has to be a full song and you have to actually sing it. And I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna, well, I could do a cover. <laughs> there we go. You know, pretend like I sang the full thing and all I did was do 30 damage to his root fossil. Now he has 10 HP left. What a waste of time. Anyways, that's just a, you know, kind of useless card that I'd never use. 
um, if they allowed it in tournaments, I don't think anyone would ever want to use it in any situation or scenario or case at all. Um, I mean, maybe some crazy weird people would, but yeah. So we got a type null hollow, a gallus bod, promo <coughs> hollow. Oh, by the way, I, I didn't lose my hollows. Um, I lost some, but some, all of like my ultra rares pretty much, I, I lost well, almost all of them. I, I, I found like three, um, which was the uh, Gardevoir and then two other cards that are coming up. Clefairy, Evolutions, I love that shine. Um, Hollow, by the way. Lycanroc Hollow, Amistar Hollow, Erica's Hospitality Hollow card. I never see Hollow Trainers. I don't think I have any more besides Full Art Trainers. But anyways, let's just move on. Let me keep these in the very, 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 Okay, that was annoying. Very back. And here we are. Elusamine Prism Star. Boost Energy. We're getting into vintage cards. Another energy. Oh, the, that, that last one was a 2005. And this other one. 2007. Water energy, 2007 psychic energy, 2010 fighting energy, and here we are. Okay. 2010 Starmie, 2010 Meowth, 2010 Professor Elm's training method, 2010 Pokemon reversal, 2010 Ladybug. 2010 Full Heal, 2009 Bronzong. Wait, did we just jump straight to 2009 or eight? I mean, wait, what the heck is that? You, I'm gonna look in real life. That's still 2009. Hey, Wormadam. 2009 rapid this is for sure 2000 no it's still 2009 2000 cricket top 2009 no that was a rapidash by the way i love the artwork look at the rapidash artworks nowadays and they look ugly they look ugly compared to this one i love the artwork on this i wish it would be in all the newer sets or at least better artwork for rapidash maybe i'm just looking at the x and y versions of rapidash and stuff and the sun and moon and being like, wow, they should really improve their artwork. They should improve their artwork to things like, okay, I'm not going to show it yet. <laughs> but anyways, they should improve their artwork back to base set. Like, actual base set kind of artwork. Not like the entire base set, again, like Evolutions, but, you know, like it's an extended version of Evolutions. It's 2019 Evolutions, basically. <laughs> That would be stupid. Um, anyways, yeah. that's That means there's three reprints of base set. Four, actually, because base set two. 2009. 2009 Tangla. Pokeblower Plus 2008. 2008. Andrew Link 2008. Paris 2008. Sorry, Paris 2007. Combi 2007, Falafi 2007, Supporter or Trainer, but they call it Supporter. And then it says Supporter right next to it. BB's Search um, 2007, another one. Here we are, guys. We have finally reached it. Can't they just do the artworks like this now? I mean, come on, just the artwork. Just the artwork inside here. It's so good, so original, so juicy. Anyways, a Need Arena Vintage card, a Metapod Vintage, or sorry, let me actually read off the set names, a Need Arena Jungle Base Set, or Jungle Set, 
a metapod oh my gosh metapod base set two a gloom jungle set a golbat fossil set an ekans fossil set another gloom from jungle set bell sprout from jungle set execute from jungle set and then a ride on from base set two all those were grass types except the ride on why you may ask no i don't really know actually so guys we've been through a lot of cards we've been through a lot of hollows we've been through a lot of random junk that you guys probably don't even care about that you guys probably already clicked off the video because you saw it and you were like oh my gosh that's the most disgusting card ever in existence of the world kind of cards oh my gosh we still have one card that that that's a hollow that i forgot to show that is an arceus prism star now moving on to some of the EX's GX's now as you could probably tell when I pick these up that there's not very many I have five ultra rare cards here now I actually have six cards but the last one's probably one of my favorite personal favorite cards that I currently own that I could find so let's start things off a magirna ex an articuno ex team plasma a molane full art trainer a sogaleo gx i literally just found this in between um in my in my car there's like seat belts and i found this and I found this in the little crack that's right there. I found this literally in the little crack. I had to pull it out. And then it was all bent and everything. A Manaphy EX. We pulled this out of dollar packs. Another one we pulled out of dollar packs. This is worth, I'm pretty sure, like $17 or something. I'm going to put that aside because apparently a Gem Mint 10 version of that cost $40. And here it is. My all-time favorite card that I currently own. Shining Arceus. Hollow card. There's something so majestic, so cool, so beautiful about this card. That makes it so unique and amazing. Just look at that that rainbow shine look at it only on the Pokemon with all the little tiny details shining but all the little tiny gaps without shine just look at how beautiful the card is fabled defense as long as Pokemon is your active Pokemon, prevent all damage done to your bench Pokemon by opponent's attacks. That would be really good on what's it got what's it called? On Pokemon with attacks that um are like or this card would be really good for Pokemon that have attacks that are like and they hit like all your Pokemon at once. E. And ultimate arrow. This attack does 30 damage to each of your opponent's Pokemon. Don't apply weakness and resistance for benched Pokemon. Look at that beauty. Look at that condition. I'm probably going to order a few more because this card is so beautiful. I just can't, I can't explain. There's something so, like, unique, so amazing about this card. It's just, I can never take my eyes off of it. Look at that beautiful card. That is pretty much one of my most prized cards that I have in my collection. 
as of now. Just look at how beautiful that card is. Now, I just spent about five minutes just explaining how amazingly beautiful that one card is. I don't know why I put these in, didn't put these in sleeves before. These are in horrible condition, but I might just put them in sleeves so they don't get worse. But, guys, this card I will literally probably never get rid of this card this is literally the most beautiful thing ever anyways guys that is going to conclude today's video if you enjoyed be sure to drop a like maybe even subscribe if you're new and I don't really know what else to say um yeah, on that note, I would thank you, like to thank you guys so much for watching today's video. If you enjoyed today's video, be sure to drop a big, fat, chunky like. Um, maybe even subscribe if you're new. And on that note, I will see you guys in the next one. Goodbye! I'm going to stack up these Pokemon cards until you can't see from the camera like, anymore. All you could see is the Pokemon cards. Let me just move this a little farther away for a second. I like to memorize the order of these cards. There we go, my hand don't hurt no more. Hollow bleed cards, or hollow bleed cards. A few just reverses that my friend sleeved up for no reason. I decided to keep them in a sleeve because I'm too lazy to take them out. Uh, let's see what else. You wanna know what? I'll just do some. Are right, these? And then, you want to know what? I'm going to do some already opened dollar packs. Get that to focus. Why won't focus? I'm not gonna let it focus. Anyways, guys, if you enjoyed today's video, be sure to drop a like, maybe even subscribe if you're new. I'm just gonna just conclude this already. Anyways, um. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, be sure to drop a like. Maybe and subscribe if you're new. And on that note, I will see you guys in the next one. Goodbye!